the world is more and more relying on information and we detect so much information that we also have this new machine learning, artificial intelligence methods to, to, to work on that information because a human on its own is not able to process that actually. In the future, the networks will learn from that behavior, like traffic patterns, um, like how many people, how dense deployment this is. And, and we train neural networks to adjust, uh, to manage, to orchestrate the network, if you like, um, in that regard. And I think that will realize then the ultimate dream of self-organizing networks. So when we look at an error interface, the power of AI is really about transforming from a statistical model-driven world into a more decision-driven, data-driven world. So we can understand real-time propagation better based on data. We can understand use cases better based on data. We can understand deployment trade-offs better based on data. So combining those data elements into an error interface design is a fundamental opportunity for 6G. The main question from my side would be, uh, what really practically is feasible with respect to the implementation on, the, on our mobile phones, on our uh, small handheld devices, small, so devices that are not, the, the uh, systems that are not operated in the base stations where you have plugged in the, to the electricity and you don't have to worry about that, but you are powered with the batteries, you are limited with energy, so this is something that we have to keep in mind. So that AI can be utilized uh, to enhance 6G performance in a comprehensive manner, also in an end-to-end -end manner. Um, that starts with uh, generating data sets, right? No data sets. Uh, if you don't have any data sets, then machine learning will not work because you need to train a neural network and the more data, the better the, uh, quality of data you have. Um, uh, a better job the neural network can do. So I think um, there's something that we can contribute. And then, of course, in our experience in, in signal processing um, and, and, and measurements um, of these uh, algorithms, testing these algorithms, validating these algorithms, I think there's um, a, a lot of things that Roden Schwartz can and will contribute.